Hey there sexy vault dwellers, I'm Stormy Skies 369 and we're in the forest region zone A, secondary location 6 to 10. Starting off at number 6 named Beehive, North Kiwana, the description reads, gather honey and try not to get stung at this beehive stuck in a tree. So we're very close to vault 76, I don't know if that's a good thing or not anymore. There's lots of places to get honey and there's nothing else really here. There's no water and your typical bee enemies that you get at any hive. There's not much flat land. And you just got this old tree with some honey in it. Okay, so you can camp here. Off to a slow start there. So number seven is called the Settler's Cabin and it sounds a bit more exciting than a tree. The description goes, a ruined cabin with a corpse, nuke cola, a mattress and cooking station. It's a decent size looking around from the outside. You've got some wood there which is handy. Okay, and I think this is the front. And enemies do spawn here, but they're easy to kill as they're low levels. And we've got a mattress. Got a pipe revolver, bullets, and junk items too. And over here we've got lots of food and some boiled water. And we've got an ammo box, some more boiled water, some junk and a sleeping bag. There's a rifle and some bullets on the table as well. So two weapons, loads of ammo junk there and just seeing if those fish are dynamic but they're not they don't move it's still a cool little cabin especially if you're a low level and you stumble across this it's got everything you need and outside the, we've got a bit more we've got this blue makeshift tent But over here we've also got some wild melon blossom which you can use to make steeped melon blossom chai. It's great for restoring your HP if you don't have the healing mutation and gives you two agility. But there are quite a few ingredients you'll need as well. We also got a toolbox. And another wood pile in this completely destroyed shed. Okay, so it is a campable location and I definitely recommend it if you're a low level. It's got everything you need here. Ammo, weapons, food. And there's a rag stag there as well. It's just a camp that keeps on giving. It's better than a dumb honey tree anyway. Okay, location 8 is Coltis Totem, east of Vault 76. We get a short description that goes, a cultist totem seems to be claiming and digesting bones and corpses in this small silt bean clearing. So with the Wastelanders update, this location now spawns cultist NPC enemies and you're gonna have to kill them because we can't become allies with the cultists yet. There's a tiny bit of junk here too. Now, I'm glad I came here at night because it, it looks cool lit up and I don't think it would look as good in the day. Really is not much else to say about this location. And 
there's your enemy coal tests. And of course there is a few silt beans getting about. There's no water, there's not much of a, um, there's not much of a view. But you can camp here if you want. Location 9 is the Bitplane Crash Help. Reading the description now, an enterprising survivor of the plane crash fashioned a crude message in the hillside near her crashed plane. So straight off we get some enemy scorch and some bits of plane. And there's a raider as well, which makes me think this might be an NPC spawn, but the Scorch killed him first. Under here we have the survivor corpse and an ammo box. And you can camp here. There's a usable mattress and it has got a really nice view. So if you want to walk just a little way down here, you get an iron deposit. But unfortunately, I don't think you can get the bit plane and the iron deposit within the camp um, radius. Okay, and here's the help message in the hillside. Hope you guys can see that okay. And the final one for today, number 10, is Marksman's Cave. Described as a small rock cave with an archery target on top of it, there's a crack you can fall down to watch out. And this is definitely a great location, it's got a target board and a chair there. we can drop straight down into the cave because it's not too far. It is small and narrow. You've got a skeleton and candles. It has got quite a high roof to it, which is nice. Okay, and coming outside, we are on the slope of a hillside. But it looks really cool. That is such a cool little cave. I didn't show you, but you guys can camp here. And with limited caves to choose from, it's not a bad spot. that's all the locations today thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and like and i will catch you guys in the wasteland soon bye